Hey everyone, how's it going? Nick Baldwin, regional technology trainer for the Michigan, Northern Ohio region of Keller Williams. And today I'm going to take you on a tutorial around how to retarget your database. Basically, how to get back in front of whether it be your sphere of influence or leads that you have generated through Facebook over the last several months. I'm going to show you how to get back in front of them with ads that are um, that are essentially retargeting, right? So let's look at this ad that I have up here that I recently launched um, up here on the on the right hand side. Um, now this ad is getting back in front of about fifteen hundred Facebook leads that I've generated uh, over the course of the last year or so, and the verbiage in the ad says, "Hey there." You visited our website recently, and we wanted to invite you back to look at more beautiful homes for sale. Don't be shy. Come on by and explore by town, neighborhood, address, school, district, or zip code. Come back and search. Now, what I'm doing here is I have leads in my database that are older, but they have visited my site in the past, and now I'm running an ad that only targets them. I'm not running an ad that targets anyone with a specific interest. I'm targeting specific individuals that are already in my database. Let me show you how you would do that. So after you go through the different steps here to create the ad, we're going to come down here to configure it. Now, normally what you would do is you would target your database, right? I'm sorry. No, <laughs> I don't know why I was saying that. Normally what you would do is you would target a custom audience. Sorry, my bad. You would target a custom audience. Now, what we're, and that's when you would choose different interests and so on and so forth. You guys are familiar with that. What we're going to do this time is we're going to target your database, right? So we're going to click that and we'll unclick target a custom audience. Now, in order to target your database, what you have to do is you have to create a new audience. Now, I've already created a bunch of audiences here, but I'm going to show you how to do that, okay? So, to create an audience, you have to choose from a you can choose from a couple different things, either target by tags or target by a neighborhood. Now, if you have tags that are associated with specific people in your database, you can choose those. So, let's select tags. So, um, I now I recently synced another CRM with command. So, I had a lot of different tags in that CRM, and they transitioned over. These are zip codes, right? So, people that looked in certain zip codes. Um, now I can choose some of these zip codes if I want. Uh, let me pick one so I can show you. So this would be a tag 07003. That's a town in New Jersey, uh, Bloomfield, New Jersey. Let's scroll down here and uh, we can actually, let's throw in an actual blue people who are tagged with Bloomfield Township. Uh, we can tag people who, let's see. Oh, tag people that um, I've tagged Facebook lead. Now, these people are generally looking in the same area. I can tag someone who is, uh, da, 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 da. oh, someone, oh, uh, Forest Condo. That was an ad that I ran in Montclair, New Jersey. That's close to Bloomfield. We got about 35 or 40 leads from that. And uh, let's choose one more that probably, okay, here's one. Uh, we could do New Jersey. That's going to bring us probably a good amount of leads. Okay, so let's call this, uh, you know, New Jersey Facebook leads. Okay, we're going to give that an audience name. Now what we're going to do is we're going to create. Now it's when I create it, it's going to take everyone in my database that has these tags associated with them. So let's create it. And give that it takes a couple seconds for the list to be created now we're going to find out how many people are associated with that now in order to have a successful retargeting campaign okay it's done great you have to have at least a thousand people um you can have less but it works best with a thousand people or more so okay so new jersey facebook leads there are about 512 people uh in my database with those uh, tags associated with them. We can also throw in a couple other uh, lists that I've created. So New Jersey towns are 661 people with tags associated with that audience. Uh, Belleville, New Jersey, Wailopa, which is another system that generates leads. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do this one. 
And you can see because there's only 512 people associated with those tags, it's saying that it may not, uh, the, audience is, the audience is too small. So it may not be as successful as I would like. So I want to add some more people to that. So let's add this, 661 people. See, that goes away because now we're over 1,000, right? Um, let's just do Y Lobo with 819. So now we're like, if I choose this one, now we're pushing like 2,000, right? Which is great. So all of these people, there's a couple thousand people with tags that are associated to the audiences that I've created. So what you're going to do now is you're going to save that Facebook ad. And when you publish the campaign, what happens is Facebook will kind of comb your database and, 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 and um, look through the data that you have on these people. Name, email, and phone number is typically what you have. And because those people came from Facebook, what's going to happen is Facebook's going to match the data that you have with a Facebook profile and it's a very high accuracy. I'd say like 90% accuracy. So you have a really good chance of getting back in front of people with these retargeted ads. So you're essentially nurturing people in that are already in your database that have already opted in and looked at homes on your website in the past. So if I go back to paid ads, I want to show you uh, that I just recently started running uh, this ad that I showed you yesterday. And it's only been live for, you know, maybe 12 hours. So 109 impressions. So it's actually gotten in front of 109 people. Uh, three of them have clicked. No leads yet, but that's okay. You are going to get probably less leads this way than you would if you were running a new ad for new leads. And that's because... Uh, that's because you're getting in front of people that are already in your database. Um, and so typically, um, you're not going to have as as big of an audience. But the plus side is, if they come back, then you know you've got something great there. You know you've, not, you've, you've got someone who's probably motivated and your ad, um, you know, like uh, joggled, jo joggled their, their memory a little bit and they, they might remember you in terms of brand awareness. So anyway, that's how you create a retargeting ad to get back in front of people that have previously visited your website and opted in and gave you their information. So I hope that that uh, gave you guys some insight into how to do that. Go ahead and give it a shot. We'd love to hear your results. We'll see you next time.